What up everyone, I'm Rich Mays Lopez and this is the release roundup brought to you by the good people at SoulCollector.com. In this week's show, we'll be taking a look at the top news stories and the top five sneaker releases of the week. Plus, I sat down with Nick Swaggy P. Young to talk about rocking Yeezys on the court, why he left Nike for Adidas, and a whole lot more. Let's get into the top news stories. Late last week, a Drake leaving Jordan brand for Adidas rumor started to circulate on Twitter before several media outlets, including SoulClick.com, of course, confirmed that Drake is reportedly unhappy with his situation at the Jumpman and is, in fact, in talks with Adidas about joining the Three Stripes. As a matter of fact, if we're King of It 100, we knew about this before we put out last week's How Adidas Won All-Star Weekend video, and from what we also heard, that weekend was very close to being an even bigger win for Adidas. Neither Jordan Brand nor Adidas have officially commented on the situation, and since I personally don't want to start an Adidas vs Nike war once again, I'll let y'all tell me how you feel about it in the comments. Kith is linking up with Champion to drop a massive 57-piece collection of men's and women's gear. The collection features stable pieces that include varsity jackets, hoodies, and sweats that are all done in Kith's palette with big logo collab branding. The collection drops on Friday, March 2nd, and it's going to be super expensive and super hard to get, so when bots end up cooking the whole shit and you end up with nothing, it's actually not a whole L because it is two for $30 champion hoodie season at Costco. The Dad Shoe X Purposefully Ugly sneaker trend is still going very hard right now with two Balenciaga Triple S colorways dropping this week, but in a sign that we might be just going a little too far with this, Gucci unveiled its own ugly ass sneaker this week. The sneaker is obviously thick as hell and it features crisscross crystals with the Gucci logo done in OG Sega lettering. No word on the release date, but if this is your wave, look for this thing to drop in the fall. Virgil Abloh, aka the hardest working man in the business, announced two new off-white ventures this week, launching a new collab healthy energy drink with Wild in the Moon and a retail pop-up slash cafe collab with Le Bon Marche in France. But the most hyped or hated on, depending on who you ask, off-white related thing to drop this week wasn't actually done by Virgil at all. It was done by Instagram user Margo Agency, who flipped the off-white branding into McDonald's packaging. Everyone has something to say about it, and I don't know much, but I do know that this would be the quickest way to fill up a McDonald's with people who have influencer in their IG bios. Swaggy P, aka Nick Young, did it once again earlier this week when he rocked the Adidas Yeezy 500 on the NBA court while the Warriors smacked the Knicks at MSG. Sneaker Twitter and Sneaker IG all had something to say about it, but the most interesting takes came from some of Nike's biggest names. Kevin Durant hit Swaggy P's IG with a disgusted emoji, and Eric Costin dropped a comment on Soul Collector's IG saying, shows you how much burn he gets with a no crossing emoji. Both of those comments kind of make you want to do this emoji. Speaking of Swaggy P, we caught up with him at the Adidas 747 Warehouse Street space to talk about Yeezys, Adidas vs Nike, and a lot more. You know, I've been in this shoe game for a while, you know. Um, kicks on the court champ, pretty much started all that. Nick Young, Swaggy <laughs> P. When the Yeezy 750s dropped, mm -hmm. and when you signed with Adidas, yeah. everyone was saying, Swaggy P gotta be the first dude to rock the 750s on court. And you were. Yeah. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> I actually, I was playing around at first. I didn't think I actually could wear them on the court. I was a little nervous. I told my teammates, you know, I'm about to wear these today. They're like, don't do it. You don't hurt yourself. I said, man, hey, man, I hurt myself from going down in some Yeezys, you know, so. <laughs> There's no better way to go out. <laughs> Hooping in the NBA with some Yeezys on. I feel you. That picture's gonna be like legendary. You oh, know? absolutely. Like, yeah, I and you get the greys and the blacks. Yeah. So, once I wore the greys, I know I can wear the blacks. So. Swaggy P running <laughs> up the budget. When you heard that line in facts, oh, what happened? Wait, nuts. I can't believe it. Like, my friends was calling me. Did you hear that? Kanye shouted you out. I'm like, man, y'all playing. Together. Played in the locker room with teammates. Was like, ah, oh, he think he home now. He think he's something. But, you know, it was just a regular day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I was pretty much the man at the time. I felt good. <laughs> you signed with Adidas a yeah. little bit into your career. Yeah. Why did you join the Adidas brand? 
I think just because the, you know, Nike didn't really, they don't really put all the athletes out there like that. You know, they got like three signature shoes, Kobe's, LeBron. And I felt like Adidas needed a little help, you know? You know, they needed some swag and uh, that don't help that, you know, Kanye went over. When are we gonna see a Yeezy X Swaggy P? It's gotta happen. Gots to. I know he's working on some new stuff. And, um, it's gonna be crazy, but I've been talking to him about it. I most definitely need that, or for real, some one of them. Yeah. yeah. What does a like. Pharrell or Kanye West Swaggy P sneaker look like? Basically, for real, you know, it's gotta be very colorful. I think with Kanye, it's just gonna be unique. It's gonna be something different, you know, something you not probably have a thick sole or, you know, his tongue on a shoe or something, you know. Yeah. So hopefully it's like in the finals or something, you know. Oh, Ooh. you already roadmapped this. Yeah, you know, I told, I told him, man, we gotta be ahead of the curve for when this day come. You know, Kanye gotta be courtside, got him on, you know. Probably one side say Yeezy, other side say Swaggy. And 70 guarantee? 70 guarantee. You got yourself, yeah. James Harden in the mix, right? Yeah. I saw James this weekend and he was talking about that he's the swag champ. That's what he said. He was walking on the court saying the swag champ is in the building. Oh. What you think about that? I don't even know my name no more, you know, they just call me Swag everywhere I go, so uh, that just says it right there, who's the Swag champ, but uh, I think he knows. I think they all know. <laughs> and now for the top five sneaker releases of the week, coming in at number five, the Nike KD10 on Pearl, which is dropping on February 28th at a retail price of 150. Number four, the Air Jordan 13 White Royal, AKA the Orlando Magic 13s, dropping on March 3rd, retail price 190. The Adidas NND Hue by Pharrell Power Dye Collection, dropping on March 2nd, at a retail price of 250. Number two, the Nike LeBron 15 Equality, raffle ends on March 2nd, release date is March 5th. And the number one sneaker release of the week, the Air Jordan 1 by Off-White, dropping on March 3rd at a retail price of 190. Our number one this week is an easy call. Everything Virgil touches turns into gold. That's it for this episode of the Release Roundup. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're copying anything this weekend, best of luck to you. See y'all next week.